Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk to you about how to reduce washing machine noise. So if you don't have a soundproof washroom and you have a noisy washing machine, it can be quite annoying, especially when these washing machine gets older. And these washing machines are notorious for producing a vibrational sound that travels into the floor joist and cavity and irritates the occupants below. You can simply place a washing machine anti-vibration pad or a mat and that should solve the vibrational problem completely. So first I will talk to you about different dryers and washing machine anti-vibration mats. Most of these mats are built from recyclable car tires, so not only does it absorb vibration, but it's also pretty good for the environment. The anti-vibration mat decouples the floor from the washer and will help absorb most of the vibration. We suggest that you lay them directly on the floor and then add a layer of wooden board on top of the mat. The wooden board will help, help support the legs or feet of the appliance and stop it from digging into the rubber. You can easily find one of these thick wooden boards at your local hardware store. The washing machine anti-vibration mat is one meter square and is very dense. They are resilient to moisture and easy to cut with a traditional saw or jigsaw. These types of bigger mats are also called anti-vibration pads, but usually when you see a product that is has the word pad and not mat, it usually means four individual pieces for each leg of the appliance. Now secondly, I'll talk to you about anti-vibration pads for washing machines or dryers. Anti-vibration pads can be quite inexpensive. They're usually around $20 on Amazon, but you can find some that are about five bucks. But most of the reviews on those are pretty bad. So the ones that I usually stick to are called steady pads and those are the ones that I personally have used and find that they work. They also couldn't be any easier to install. You basically lift the washing machine in the front and in the back you place each pad underneath the leg of the washing machine or dryer. Just make sure to be careful not to hurt your back. However, you can buy a appliance lifter that would not be a bad idea. So I would strongly recommend that. So your third option to reduce the vibrational noise of a washer dryer would be to buy a vibration block. The vibration block is something I stumbled on when I was researching different ways on how to reduce my washing machine vibration. I could not find this product on Amazon where I do most of my online shopping. So I went on Reddit message board and specifically asked about this item. And someone told me that they initially bought the vibration block for 29 inch stacked washer dryer combo. They claimed that it helped a small amount with reducing vibration but not that much, even carefully following all the recommendation. The house still shook a lot when it was used. The machine was also too big for the stand and the feet barely fit within the depression for them. If you have a 27 inch washer and want every last bit of vibration reduction, it might be worth it. For anyone else, it's not worth the money. The negative thing I took from researching the vibration block was a video that I watched on YouTube from their company. So the video is of a washing machine vibrating on all sorts of different anti-vibration products that obviously didn't work. And lastly, you see the vibration block completely stop the vibration. And if you watch the video, you'll see what I mean. And I didn't think the footage was very authentic and I think it might be a bit misleading after talking to several people that have used this product in the past. However, Please let me know if you have the vibration block and what you think of it. You might change my mind and I could also be completely wrong about the video. I'm just taking what other people told me because I've never tried it. I just find it's a little bit expensive so my personal opinion, I would skip it. So there you have it, three choices for reducing the vibration of your washer dryer. If you want to check out any of the products that I talked about in this video, all the links to each products are in the description down below. You should also check out our website at soundproofguide.com for all sorts of DIY soundproofing projects and general soundproofing information.